Hi, I'm Sat from Good, and in this video I'm going to be talking you through a few simple steps uh, that you can take to just make sure App Inventor is set up correctly. And if things aren't working, um, I'll also talk you through a couple of quick troubleshooting techniques as well. So first of all, let's click on the Invent button. Um, and then we're going to create a new project and just make sure uh, some of the basics are working. We're going to test the design window and we're also going to test the blocks editor as well. So if you just hit the new button on the top left hand corner, type in a project name. In this case, I'm just going to write test app inventor and then hit OK. You can always delete this project afterwards. And then we just wait for it to load up. And so there's two things you want to test. You want to test out the design window and the blocks editor. Um, so first of all, to test the design window, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left hand side of the screen where it says palette and make sure we click on the basic uh, button. Um, and then we're going to see what you should automatically see really is a bunch of um, components. We're just going to drag across an image. So if you click on image and drag it across the screen onto the view in the middle of the screen um, then you'll notice that it appears on the components and image one which wasn't originally there it only appeared once we dragged it on the screen now what we want to do is click on picture under the word under properties in the far right hand corner uh, and then click on once you click on the the none where it says none the kind of text field you want to hit add and you want to add a picture uh, so just choose one from your computer so we just select the image click open and what we want to see now is the image uh, appear in the middle of the viewer on the screen so it might take a few seconds um, but once that loads then you know um, well the design window is working pretty well if you can't see the image then it might mean it's a high chance that your um, your school network is blocking App Inventor so you need to speak to um, your IT team and ask them to unblock um, App Inventor, whitelist it however they can um, because it's probably just not getting through your network's firewall so now we're going to test the blocks editor um, to do that we're going to hit the open the blocks editor button and we're going to have to wait uh, probably about 30 seconds for this to open up um, so it loaded up quite quickly for me. The reason it loaded up quite quickly is the first time round is because this isn't actually the first time round. I've opened the block so I've opened it um, just before filming this video. Um, so for you, it probably take about twenty seconds to thirty seconds the first time you open it. So just just try and bear with it. Um, one thing you should also know is I'm using Google Chrome and I would really recommend you download it that and install it and um, and use that other browsers such as Internet Explorer um, tend to have errors appear before you even get to this stage okay so hopefully your blocks editor is, um, hasn't fully opened yet but it has given you it has prompted you to download some um, a file and this file is a Java file and it's an app inventor for Android blocks um, so mine says 25 that's how many times I opened it um, so you can just yours probably won't say 25 you don't have to change this or anything all you have to do is save it to your computer and you'll notice it appears if you're using Google Chrome it appears in the bottom left of your browser screen or your browser window what you now want to do is you want to click on this uh, and open this um, so I'm going to click it and it will take again this will take some time to load um, so you can see it's saying it's opening up Java and I have Java 6 running if you don't have Java 6 running uh, this might not work so if you have Java 7 running for example uh, this probably won't work and I'll talk you through how to, how to check what version you're running and how to change the version you're running as well alright so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait I'm not going to edit this video, I'm going to let you see how long it takes for my blocks editor to open so you get an idea. Uh, that is quite normal to have to be waiting a while for the first time for it to load.
all right so it's finally launching it and it should open up now in a separate window um, to this design window Right, and you notice this button is faded out now, so it's not clickable. It should be opening up. Okay, there we go. So that took a while, even I was getting slightly impatient there, but it did. It took about a full minute, uh, maybe even two minutes actually to load up. Um, so please be patient. If it takes longer than five minutes, the chance that something is wrong. All right, so we've got the uh, block editor working. Uh, well, it's loaded up anyway and it's appeared on the screen. We don't know if it's fully working. To check if it's fully working, what we want to do is click on the My Blocks button. Uh, the tab I should say uh, so once that's opened up you'll see it should say my definitions image one screen one the reason it says image one is because that is the image that references the component we loaded up there so if you did drag something else into the screen maybe you chose a button instead of an image then that is what should be showing so it's image one this is image one what you want to do is and click image one and you'll see a bunch of blocks that appear on the screen and you want to drag one of them onto the screen anything will do if that works then your app uh, then app event is loaded correctly and it should it should be running just fine in this particular case the blocks editor opened up first time round we do find in some cases that, that some some schools have said that the blocks editor doesn't work uh, a lot of the time just because your network's actually blocking um, App Inventor and or some part of Java which is why the blocks that it doesn't open. Uh, before you go and speak to your network um, administrator or um, the technical team at your school, what you might want to do is just make sure a few other things are checked. One of those things is um, I mentioned earlier that you've got Java 1.6 uh, 1 running or Java 6 running. <coughs> So to do that, the first thing you need to do is open up the control panel, um, type in Java, click on the Java button that appears, and it should open up um, some um, some settings that you can get into. All right, so it opens up the Java control panel, and what you want to do is click on Java again, the Java tab, and click View for the environment settings. Um, so I'm using Windows 7, um, the, the, the steps I've told you might be different depending on what um, OS you're using, but generally you just want to get to the Java runtime environment settings. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here that I've got platform, I've got 1.6 running, uh, the location of it in the path, and it's enabled. What you might have is Java 1.7 here, uh, and as well as 1.6 if you just install 1.6. What you want to do is uncheck 1.7 and check 1.6. Um, that should allow you to run uh, the blocks editor. Um, so if this is 1.7, what you want to do is install 1.6, and I've got a link to that in the description that you can use. And once you have done that, just make sure you uncheck uncheck 1.7 and check 1.6 okay so if you hit OK and that's the first thing that you can check the second thing you want to do is if it's still not opening you can try to open the blocks editor um, in a different in a different way which is kind of a manual way of opening it uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the, the blocks editor that I've got now and reopen it in the manual way. So if I click on open the blocks editor, 
so load up a little bit faster this time and then hit save alright so this time I'm going to open it slightly different last time I just clicked on it and it opened up this time I'm going to click on show in folder I'm going to locate the file and then I'm going to do open with right click it, click on open with and then I'm going to manually select Java myself and then I'm going to hit OK um, so sometimes it, it might not recognize that it's a Java file and it might not know it is and it, for that reason it might not open it up using Java 6 it might just, it, nothing will happen with the blocks editor so to kind of a way around that is to manually open it yourself um, and that should um, fix quite a lot of the blocks editor problems that you're getting and hopefully this opens up now there we go so it's just going through the, the, the generic um, steps it does to open up the blocks editor um, if that doesn't work that there's a high possibility that you're in, you, you need to speak to your network um, and ask them to your network administrator and ask them to unblock it um, the blocks editor okay so that's loaded up another common error that um, another kind of, kind of common problem that comes up is sometimes a pop-up box appears and it says that Appenvina cannot find the path the file path to the adb.exe um, so to do that, to kind of fix that problem, what you want to do is install the App Inventor setup file and I've got a link to that in the description below this video. So um, another problem that uh, some people get is when they try and connect their phone at uh, the Dell Streak to App Inventor and transfer their, their app across. Um, sometimes the, the, the Google computer won't actually register your Dell Streak because it doesn't have the drivers. Um, so to install the drivers for your Dell Streak, there's two ways you can do it. Um, the first way is to go to this address, which is in the description of um, this video, and follow the steps. Basically, it just means connect your phone to your to your laptop. Take the Dell PC Suite.exe file that's located on your Dell Streak, drag it across onto your computer, install it, restart your computer, and then uh, then it should work. Um, the other way to get this Dell Streak uh, file is actually to go to the address that is uh, also in the description of this video, and then install uh, and then install it. So instead of connecting your Dell Streak and taking it off of the Dell Streak, just download it directly off the net. Um, so once that's done, you just need to change some of the settings on your phone, um, and the settings you need to change there is just to allow the phone to use apps that aren't um, from the market and the steps on how to do that are in this bottom of the, the description of this video as well so hopefully that covers a lot of the problems that the, the majority of the, the main the main issues that people come across with when using App Inventor if there are any other um, problems that you come across and you'd like me to cover just let me know send us an email or at education at cdieurope.eu or just leave a comment and we'll try and get those solved so um, yeah hopefully that solves most of your problems and good luck with App Inventor